Hey guys, so I was walking by the front of my house and I noticed something on the ground. You see here, I have got some pomegranates and one has fallen on the ground. I think the birds or possums or something have gotten to it. Actually, if I close that up, does that look like... Does that look like it's been eaten? It looks, maybe it's just cracked and then it's gotten some disease or something on the side. Anyway, um, I have another one here. So, I'm gonna pick it. Because if this one's ripe, then the other one is probably gonna be ripe too. Because the other one was actually bigger than this one originally. So this is it here. It is a small one. And I'm just going to cut that there. Looks like it has a little bit of red marks on it. Oh, it's got a hole. Oh no, I hope it's okay inside. Um, so, anyway, I'll cut this open and we'll check out to see how it, how it tastes. Um, this is the... Elche, Elche variety, E L C H E, and then this is the Azerbaijani variety. You see that? I've got two of those. So Azerbaijani, Elche, or Elche. Azerbaijani, and I've got another one here. This one is the Rosaveya. Rosaveya variety. So the, um, the original plan is plan is to grow these up and affiliate them across the front lattice. So these will go up here, and across here, and across here, and here, and across here as well. So be my front pomegranate. And they actually look really good um, trellis along affiliate because the fruit, some of these fruit, I mean, this variety is obviously a small one, but um, I think the Azerbaijani is uh, like almost double this size. I'm not sure the size of that one either, but they look really good as Pellier because you're going to have the long branches and then you'll have big chunks of fruit everywhere. So it's very pleasing looking, I should say. Anyway, we'll take this inside and cut it up and see how it tastes. Okay, so I'm going to cut this open. Um, pomegranates are pretty easy to grow. This is the first one I've ever grown. Um, they're quite drought hardy. Um, when I first planted them, um, they did look a bit thirsty. So um, I watered maybe twice a week for the first month and then did water for like another month um, and then intermittent watering. But I haven't watered these in about three months, I'd say. Um, but we have been getting some rain, but it is in a bit of a sheltered position, but I think the roots have sort of established themselves now. So, um, yeah, very easy to grow. Um, you can tell when they're ripe by um, the shape. So when they are younger, just break the stem off here. When they're younger, they look quite round. And as they start to mature and firm up, you can see you get more angles, those sharper edges. 
So that's how you know that they're starting to get right. Um, also look for bird scratches or um, sometimes they split, the skin will actually start to crack. And normally once they start fruiting, you'll have a few sort of that start blooming at the same time. So if one is ready and the others are the similar size, you know the rest are gonna be sort of ready as well. So anyway, we'll cut open. So to cut open, you just do, um, you just cut it right at the top. Unfortunately, have a little bit of a. I think that was a bird actually. And you pop it open like that. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna knock out a couple of these bad ones here. This is from when they. Oh, it's a bit musty. <laughs> a bit dusty, I should say, not musty. Okay, I'm gonna give this one a bit of a wash and then I'll come back. Okay, so you can see this one has a little bit of a, I don't know what that is, it's a bit of mold and something from where a bird bit this when it was really young actually, or a caterpillar or something. Anyway, so I'm just gonna cut this wedge out and throw that out. So you can see the partitions that it's done here. And um, a lot of the times they will actually line up to where the edges um, of the pomegranate um, is. So on the angles, that's where you'll cut down. So like that, get another one there, another one there, and another one here. So you don't push in too deep, just like a mill, two mills. And then you give it a bit of a jiggle. And they'll actually open up like that. So this piece, these two are where the bad part is. Let me get rid of those. And then you remove the segments. And there it is. So you can actually just sort of give them a bit of a squash. Um, people use a wooden spoon and like tap it out like that. I mean that works as well, but see this is quite easy to just pop out once you sort of give it a bit of a jiggle with your hand. So that's the flesh. And these are the seeds. So you can actually, um, if you want to clean them out even more or remove a little bit more of the pit, um, you can just fill it with some water and the seeds, because they are full of um, liquid segments like that, they'll actually stay in the ground. So let me fill this with water and I'll show you how it looks. You can see a lot of the pit floats and the seeds stay on the bottom. So then you can just Scoop up it like that. And then just drain that out and you have your perfectly clean fresh pomegranate seeds. This is my very first pomegranate. And um, yeah, this is the light pink white variety. So in case you're thinking that it's not ripe, these are they are right. Um, you have a lot of different varieties. Some are quite dark red. Some are more translucent like this, a little bit pinkish. And then some are even dark purple. So um, I have three varieties growing out the front there. So um, I'm not actually sure which ones um, are which, like what color the other ones are. All I know is that this was the smaller variety that's um, pink. So I'm thinking one will be purple and the other variety will be a, a darker red color. Anyway, so I'll give it a taste and see how they taste. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Oh, so good. So 
So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching the video. This is um, the Elche, Elche, Elche variety of pomegranate. Um, yeah, it took about six months to ripen and um, the same tree has actually just shot out two new buds um, about a month ago. So I think these will just continuously fruit as it gets older because yeah, they are, the new ones are quite small. I can show you a, a short photo of them. And yeah, so they're about six to seven months to ripen, but yeah, delicious, easy growing fruit, low maintenance, drought hardy, L-shaped pomegranate.